I had two laptops of the 1980s and they were both from Toshiba a very very good brand Japanese brand as far as I know the type is 21910 and one of them this was the good one by the way one of them this was the bad one didn't want to start and of course in such a case you can think well uh, when it doesn't work I can throw it away and uh, when I try to get it working even with kind of coarse measures perhaps it will work and that was my uh, first idea so I took off the front and the front is here this is the front and I have even broken the front when I took it off and the reason is here you see that the reason is that it was all made with click systems uh, that was very common and even now in the 2020 say the past uh, 15 years it's very common to use click systems uh, when when uh, computers are made of course in a factory that's no problem at all the factory worker clicks down here this top to the to the bottom etc etc anyway uh, for a someone that has to repair it's a kind of problem and I know that there are special instructions uh, from telephone makers and computer uh, manufacturers that exactly show how to split such a front from the backside or how to split a front of a uh, telephone anyway this computer uh, didn't want to start and I uh, did a quite uh, say coarse measures to get it starting I tapped very fearful here a few times of course that means that there are not proper connections or even corroded connections here inside I have to study that better but there's also an idea when it works it's okay so I even tap did this a few times more than a few times and tap this very very fiercely uh, to get that hard disk working again and after say uh, a few times it started again and it got to the boot sector and that's very good of course when it gets to the boot sector you will of course see that it works again and etc etc of course this is a DOS computer disk operating system of the 1980s but such a computer has very very good properties and I know for instance that you can run DOS programs in Windows 10 or other versions of Windows so it's not uh, necessary any longer to uh, have a DOS computer to do certain calculations or whatever or play a game anyway uh, I like it when I have an old DOS computer and uh, use it for many aims and I've used it in the past uh, to make calculations in electronic circuits uh, coil inductance Ohm's law how to make a coil uh, the uh, number of windings the dimension of the core etc etc there are formulas on the World Wide Web and in books with which you can uh, program all these things um, into a computer program 
So uh, I use for instance basic uh, GUI basic from Microsoft in the past that worked very good made many prog uh, programs to um, calculate coils resistance uh, antenna um, properties etc. So it's, it's a good idea to have such an old DOS computer in your uh, hobby shack and use it for calculations or of course uh, to play for instance paratrooper. Uh, anyway be before uh, I want to show paratrooper a, a uh, say video game of 1982 let let me show the properties of the um, power supply here for everyone interested high quality power supply gets a little bit warm but of course it's a power supply of the 1980s and of course it's a direct power supply so no transformer inside so in fact a very very good and reliable AC adapter and here we have the, the battery that is inside this computer the Toshiba 2 1901 of course all these batteries here inside are say aged don't work any longer uh, completely dead in fact so I you could do some things in this case uh, try to get it open with uh, a knife or so or whatever and then solder in good quality batteries but of course you have to know the properties of the original batteries because um, when you you solder in in an experimental way uh, the not proper batteries it can uh, uh, give many problems say scorch or fire or whatever so do a serious study it's nickel metal hydride so that means that when you want to repair such a, such a battery pack of a DOS computer of the 1980s use the same type of batteries nickel metal hydride anyway so that was more or less all to tell beautiful old computer uh, I want to uh, tap the space bar and now I have here that old computer game I don't know how to uh, to get all the ammunition out out of the cannon but anyway so I only wanted to demonstrate it beautiful old computer with a lot of properties of course DOS disk operation system uh, you have to know something about DOS but that's not very complicated and GUI basic say basic basic is not a very uh, complicated way to do uh, electronic calculations